Today we're delving into Unit 3.6 of the first half of General Chemistry, which covers limiting reagents and yields. If you find value in this video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. We are mainly concerned with what is the limiting reagent because, by definition, it is the reagent that limits the yield of a chemical reaction. Let's go back to the analogy we used in a previous unit, making a fence. To make a fence, you need nails and wood, but you most often do not need the same number of nails and wood. We can write the reaction of making a fence as such. Two nails plus wood going to nails to wood. Just looking at the equation, we do not know what the limiting reagent is. It depends on the amount of nails in the wood that we have. Let's say we have 10 pieces of wood and 10 nails. Remember, we can liken these numbers to moles because moles is the amount of a substance and 10 is the amount of wood and nails. So does the number of pieces of wood or nails limit our fence building ability? Think reaction. Let's find out while we start to build the fence. The first piece of fence starts out fine and we have nine pieces of wood and eight nails left. Second is okay too, and we now have eight pieces of wood and six nails left. Third is seven pieces of wood and four nails left. Fourth is six pieces of wood and two nails left. Fifth is five pieces of wood and zero nails left. We can no longer build any more fences due to having no more nails left. Therefore, the nails would be the limiting reagent for us. Now let's take this into the chemical realm by looking at the formation of hydrochloric acid, HCl. The reaction is H2 plus Cl2 going to 2HCl. Notice that the equation is balanced since there are two hydrogen and two chlorine atoms on each side of the reaction. Also notice that it is a one to one to two reaction meaning that one equivalent of each starting material reacts with each other to form two equivalents of the product. In terms of moles, you can think of one mole of H2 reacts with one mole of Cl2 to form two moles of HCl. In these one-to-one -one ratios of starting materials, it is straightforward to figure out which is the limiting reagent. It is whichever one has the least amount of moles. If the moles are equal, there are no limiting reagents. The reactions that are not one-to-one -one are a little bit more complicated. However, you can just divide the number of moles by the number of equivalents, and whatever number is lower is the limiting reagent. For example, let's look at the two-to-one reaction of 2H2 plus O2 going to 2H2O with 10 moles of H2 and 10 moles of O2. Dividing the moles by the equivalents would look like this. 10 moles of H2 divided by two equivalents equals five moles of H2. The next 10 moles of O2 divided by one equivalent equals 10 moles of O2. Therefore, H2 is the limiting reagent. This leads us into yields, and the yields we are concerned with are theoretical yields, actual yields, and percent yields. The theoretical yield is the amount of product formed if the reaction was perfect and all of the limiting reagent reacted. The actual yield is the amount of product you actually got, and the percent yield is the ratio of the actual yield over the theor theoretical yield as such. Actual divided by theoretical times 100% equals percent yield. Again, and I cannot emphasize this enough, when doing these calculations, convert everything to moles. You'll have less errors that way. Now let's go through a full example with the neutralization reaction of H3O plus plus HO minus going to 2H2O. You start with 10 grams of both H3O plus and HO minus and produce 10 grams of H2O. In this, what is your limiting reagent and percent yield? The first step is to convert everything to moles. For this, you'll need the molecular weight of the chemicals. H3O plus, the molecular weight is 19.02 grams per mole. HO minus is 17.01 grams per mole. And H2O is 18.02 grams per mole. The math would look like 10 grams of H3O plus divided by 19.02 
equals 0.53 moles of H3O plus, 10 grams of HO minus divided by 17.01 grams equals 0.59 moles of HO minus. And lastly, 10 grams of H2O divided by 18.02 grams equals 0.55 moles of H2O. Comparing the moles of starting material, you see that the limiting reagent is H3O plus with 0.53 moles. This is a great example of why you must convert everything to moles because even though you started with the same weight in grams, you do not have the same number of molecules. Next up is the percent yield calculation. Remember the theoretical yield is the maximum yield you can get based on your limiting reagent, so 0.53. But remember, it is a 1 to 1 to 2 reaction, so you must multiply that theoretical yield by 2 to account for the equivalence. Next is your actual yield, which is 0.55 moles of H2O. The math looks like 0.55 divided by 0.53 times 2 times 100% equals 51.9% yield. Based on what you learned, think about the following question. Calculate the percent yield of the following reaction. You react 5 grams of lithium Li with 10 grams of nitrogen N2 to form 1 gram of Li3N. Remember to balance the equation and convert to moles. Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials. If the subject isn't up yet, please be patient. I'm working on bringing them up as soon as I can.